May long. We are taught about the famous incident when Moshe stood at the gate of the camp after the sin of the eagle has a hub, the golden calf, and said, Mila Hashem Elah, who is for God, let them gather to me. The Torah says that all the children of Levi gathered by him. That group was chosen to become the Kohanim. There is a story about the Chavetz Chaim that he once asked Rev Schwab a very strange question. Why are you not a Kohen? Rev Schwab gave the obvious answer. His father was not a Kohen. He asked Rev Schwab, do you know why your father was not a Kohen and my father was a Kohen? Because there was once a time in Jewish history when our teacher Moshe called out, who's for God, let them gather to me. My great-grandfather, my great-great-grandfather answered the call and your great-great-grandfather did not answer the call. That is why my father was a Kohen and your father was not a Kohen. The Chofetz Chaim was, try, was not trying to tease, saying, nah, 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 I'm a Kohen and you're not. <laughs> the Chofetz Chaim was not, try, was, trying, was not trying to rub in the fact that Rav Schwab's ancestor did not respond to Moshe's call. The point that the Chofetz Chaim was, try, was driving home was that sometimes there are, there are an there is an occasion in life where the, where the call goes out to rally around God's banner. If upon hearing that call, one rises to the occasion, his actions can have long-lasting results. That, the point that the Chavetz Chaim was trying to teach Rav Shabbat is that one day he himself might receive such a call, perhaps not in the exact same words, but in a similar way. The Chavetz Chaim was telling Rav Schwab to remember this, this lesson so that he would not repeat the mistake of his great-great-grandfather. My parents have answered the call to do the work of the shul. My daddy has spent so many hours on committee meetings with the rabbi and the board practicing leaning to her and practicing leaning to her and the guild. My mom has planned the kids' parties and Shabbat activities for so long. When it is my turn to answer the call, to help the shul or the Jewish people, I want to be just like my parents, who are so nice, sweet, caring, and always think of other people before themselves. I'd like to thank my parents for all they give me. I'm thankful to my parents for taking me out on our errands each Friday, the candy store, the comic store, and the flower store. I'm thankful to my dad, who wakes up early on Shabbat tonight. I'm thankful that we are a part of our Zeta Rome family, since the shul is a very welcoming place, and I have made great friends here. I'm looking forward to each of us to seeing and having playdates with them. I am also enjoying sitting sit in shul and hearing the rabbi's speech. I hope I get older and I can do more for shul. My favorite thing for, to do for now is the bake sale. After that, who knows? Thank you for coming here tonight to celebrate with us. <laughs> I think Gazi Daivon is a very good show. I opened the Iron Coat Dash twice. I always try to say a Torah with my own son. My family has special food, food on shops. And it is fun to have ladies and candy on shops. I always love playing with games with my family and my friends. I love my mom and dad. Thank you. <laughs> She's reading. Thank you. 